Hey guys, this is Combustible Lemon here, and today we're going to show you how to use the new Minecraft launcher to create a new directory. So it did get a little bit harder, and I figured it out. It's actually not that much more different than the original launcher. There's just a couple extra steps. So when creating, obviously, most of you probably already know that you can press new. As you can see, I already did a test, and we'll go test two. And this will be Minecraft 1.14.4. You can change the uh, the RAM argument. You can change it to four gigs instead of two gigs. You can change the resolution size when it opens. You can change different arguments if you understand those, and I'll let you look those up because there's not enough time in this video to go over it. But then you create that. It'll press play. You download the new one, and it'll do it all over. And there you go. That's a new thing. But it's not a new directory. All it does is create a new installation in the same directory. And so doing this, it has conflicting file information. You'll know what I mean in just a second after I close this. You can see it's a fully booted 1.14 version of Minecraft. Done, it's working, we're good. And so that'll use the same world files and the same mods if you're doing Forge and whatnot. So how do you work around that then? So the way I've found to do it is you have a .minecraft folder that you can find if you type in uh, either in File Explorer up here in the search bar or in uh, the run program in Windows. You go to percent app data percent .minecraft and there's everything in here including the mods folder, your saves, the different versions of Minecraft, the resources, the texture packs, everything is here. But if you want to have different mod packs in your launcher that you're creating on your own, custom mod packs, you got to separate them somehow. And this is the way I was doing it before. I would just rename the folder and make sure I chose the right version. But easy workaround. What you can do is you can copy paste that information from the original .minecraft into another location. So here I put it with the Minecraft installation. And you can edit these mods here. And what you'll do when you create your new mod, whatever you're doing with it, and you edit it, you change the game directory here to that new directory. See, this is where it's defaulted to, the original way that Minecraft installs. It creates this in your app data folder. But instead of doing that, let's see if I can remember how to get there. Golly. I have too many files on this computer. You'll go to the original or the area you want to do it. In this case, I have it here in the folder here. You set it there. You, all you have to do is click that. It knows where to search from. Dot Minecraft, and it'll go. Oh, okay, now I just look for the version and the jar and da 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 da. It knows how to do that. So if you have it set up properly and copy pasted that exact folder and got rid of things you didn't want, you press save, and now. When I press play, it'll succeed in loading because it's already there. <laughs> and that's how you create a new Minecraft directory. And now we can have our mods separate from each other. We can have a mod pack on this version. Actually, you can use the same launcher as the even better part. You don't have to install Minecraft a second time. You just have a new directory for that specific version of Minecraft. And so the best way to do it is probably to just start over with a clean slate, delete everything. As much as I don't want to recommend that, I don't recommend you delete everything. If you do, make sure you back up your stuff. But the best way would probably to just start with a fresh installation, back up your stuff, obviously, and then have a couple different versions that you have and set up your .minecraft folder separately for each one if you're going to do different mod packs of your own. So... I hope that was helpful. If it's not, I can make a second video going a little bit better in depth with better instructions, but I feel like that covers the basic information. Uh, so yeah, again, I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys in the next video.